Okay, so I should have taken pictures when it was all its really bare bones, but uh, anyway, this is the one that's going in there. I've just hooked up everything, changed all the filters and sensors and everything. Um, just hooked in the water and exhaust uh, recirculation. Put a new clutch on, um, so that's pretty brand new right there. Uh, I didn't open it up. I did open the the valve cover up and just torque down the head, um, but as you can see, it's like shining clean. Um, looks pretty new. Pretty happy with that. Um, and uh, you can see some. some silicone you know from new seals and such this is one thing I didn't want to have to do but I did I looked under and where the head and I wasn't gonna take it off and, and do a whole head gasket because I just didn't I don't have the time and I don't have the money to do it and I also don't have the the heart to, to do that again I just did that um, because the head gasket's good. This has definitely been rebuilt, like all the valves and everything in the head are new. I, I saw that. Um, but there was a, a leak somewhere in this motor uh, where the head meets the timing cover. And so I just put some um, silicone, squeezed it into it, and then put it around like in beads. Um, let me see if I can turn this around. Yeah, see, it looks shiny new, right? All clean and ready to go. And then I just, uh, let's see, yeah, put the power steering on, new alternator, um, yes, the light's not very good in here, uh, right now for the camera, but, uh, anyway, yeah. Change the water pump. Um, looks nice, looks good. It's ready to go in. It's taking a lot of work. There's old power steering pumps and filters and everything. And then this is the one I took out. It's got like parts and tools all over the place. I was trying to be more organized this time around, but it took so much longer than I thought. I kind of Stopped wasting time being organized and just tried to bust it out. But yeah, this is the engine bay. Uh, without anything in there. It's the transmission, you can't really see that. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to... Let's see, all I gotta do now is... Uh, take the oil pan off of this one and change it out onto this one. Um, this is a pretty awesome hoist though. It's come in really handy so far. Uh, and um, yeah, so I guess that's that's about it. Hopefully I'll be done today. I gotta actually open it up and change the internal oil filter on the crankshaft and everything. I mean under the crankshaft. Um, put the intake all back, uh, but I did clean the, f the intake and injection manifold and everything, check the, I don't know, anyway, that, that's irrelevant to you guys, but uh, yeah, I just got to put it in, throw the distributor, mount everything, um, do the timing, uh, yeah, just really calibrate everything. So, but yeah, that's what it looks like without guts inside. Yeah, pretty crazy, huh? So five days in, thought it would be two, two and a half, but um, things happen, so we're getting there. Okay, aloha. Sunflower, say hi. Okay, bye.